In today's lesson, you're going to learn how to slay Riff by Mighty Riff, Dulcinea by my favorite band, Isis. What's going on? My name is Jared, and welcome to Beholden to the Rift, the heaviest space channel on YouTube. Let's get right into this thing. We are in drop B tuning, so grab your axe, tune down, and let's do this. Here's riff number one, nice and slow. This is just killer. It starts seventh fret on the third string. Then we're going to go five, seven, five on the second string. From there, goes back to the third string, third fret, and then back up to the seventh fret for the start of the second part of the riff. Second half of the riff starts in the same spot, seventh fret on the third string, and it does a kind of syncopated rhythm. From there it goes fifth fret on the second string, seventh fret on the first string. Then comes back to that fifth fret on the second string, and we do kind of a power chord formation. Here we go, fifth fret on the second string, third fret on the third string, and we go back and forth. So starting on that high seventh fret. Here's the second half. One more time. Here's riff number one, full speed. In riff number two, we take that same syncopated rhythm from the second half of riff number one, and we come up to the 14th fret, second string, and it goes like this. So that's 14th fret, then we go down to the 10th fret, up to the 12th, and slide back up to the 14th. Second half of the riff gets a little busier, goes like this. Starts the same spot, 14th fret, second string. Then we go 12th fret on the first string, back to the 14th fret on the second string. Then it's 14th fret on the first string, back to the 12th fret on the first string. So it ends in the same way, 14th fret on the second string, 10th fret, 12th fret, slide back up to the 14th fret. Here's both parts of riff number two, up to game speed. So 
good. When we revisit this riff a little bit later in the song, it ends a little bit differently, it gets a little busier, goes like this. So it starts the same, 14th fret on the second string, 12th fret, first string, 14th fret, second string. Then it's a pull off from 14 to 12 on the first string. Then 14 on the second, 12 on the first, 14 on the second. Then it ends in a similar way. Very cool. Here's the first part of riff number three, nice and slow. That's seventh fret on the low string, seventh fret on the third string. We just go back and forth. Hang out on the third string for a little bit. Then back and forth. Here's the next part of the riff, nice and slow. Really neat, really keeps building the tension during this part. It's in the same region, seventh fret on the low string, seventh fret on the third string. Uh, starts the same way. Then it does seventh fret, low string, seventh fret, third string, ninth fret on the second string. And then it goes back and forth between the seventh fret, third string, ninth fret, second string. Next part of the riff starts the same way, seventh fret, low string, seventh fret on the third string. Then we go back to the low string, seven, hammer up to nine. Then it's back to the seventh fret, third string, and we go back and forth again between the seventh fret, third string, ninth fret, second string, all together. Here they are, full speed. Awesome. In riff number four, we really start building the momentum and we get a little busier with our right hand. Uh, it does a different syncopated rhythm, although similar to the first one. It goes like this, nice and slow. First part of the riff, seventh fret, and then it goes down to the fifth fret. Everything is on the seventh fret to the last note. time. Next part of the riff, it's seventh fret, and then the last note goes up to the tenth fret. Here it is, full speed. Really got to get that alternate picking going on this. So cool. From there we get nice and heavy, goes down to the low string. We're gonna go open and two, goes like this, nice and slow. So 
good. So it's open two, open two. Then it goes open two, open, two, two, open. Put together. Last time around, we come up to the fifth fret on the last note. Here it is, full speed. Really thickens things up here. Before we get into the next riff, I just want to take a moment to thank the Beholden to the Riff Patreon community. Your support means the world to me and makes all of these lessons happen. Thank you so much. During riff number five, we play that same syncopated rhythm as riff number four. We just kind of build on it. We add a few more chord tones in here. It goes like this. So the notes are all on the third string. It's seven, 10, five, 12. That syncopated rhythm goes like this. This is on the seventh fret. Then it goes up to the 10th fret. Fifth fret. Then on the 12th fret, we just kind of let each one of them ring, just really hit the accent. The second half of the riff, we kind of build on this a little bit. Uh, starts the same, seventh fret. Then it goes 10th fret. We just, the last two notes, we're gonna play the 12th fret. Then it goes fifth fret. And it's the same kind of deal. The last two notes, we go three, then back up to five. Then we go 12 is the same. Here's that part nice and slow. Here it is full speed. Really starts to build the song here, it's so good. theme of riff number six, nice and slow. And he just keeps building it from there. So it starts 12th fret on the second string, then it goes up perfect fifth to the 14th fret on the first string. Then we go 15th fret on the second string, then 14th fret. So from there, the riff just keeps building, but using those same notes. So I'm just gonna put this on and play along with the song so you can check it out.
Here's riff number seven, nice and slow. So good, we play the same notes that we do in that kind of whole build up section, just the low octave, nice and heavy. It's all on the low string, it's open, seven, three, two. We play that a few times and then we ride the low string doing this really cool syncopation leading us into the next riff. It goes like this, nice and slow. So good. Here's riff number eight, nice and slow. Everything is on the second string. It's just opens and twos. And the really important thing is to, just to get the rhythm. During the outro of the song, we use that same rhythmic pattern, the same syncopation. We just go on the low string, on the low octave. Uh, we're gonna add a few kind of kind of turnaround notes, 10th fret and third fret all on the low string. Goes like this. I'm going to put on the song, play the entire outro, but before I do, thanks for checking out the video. If you dug the lesson, I highly encourage you to like the video, subscribe to the channel. This way, YouTube shows this thing to more fans of ISIS, just like we are.